differences between plagiarism, fabrication and falsification. Plagiarism versus fabrication versus falsification. Plagiarism means using someone else's work without giving them proper credit. In academic writing, plagiarizing involves using words, ideas, or information from a source without citing it correctly. In practice, this can mean a few different things. Whereas fabrication is the construction and addition of data, observations, or characterizations that never occurred in the gathering of data or running of experiments. Whereas falsification is the changing or omission of research results, data, to support claims, hypotheses, other data, etc. Falsification can include the manipulation of research instrumentation, materials, or processes. Manipulation of images or representations in a manner that distorts the data or reads too much between the lines can also be considered falsification. The aim of plagiarism is to maintain quality in research and to uphold academic integrity. Whereas the aim of fabrication is to focus more about making up research results and data and reporting them as true. Whereas the aim of falsification is to is to be understood as the refutation of statements. Plagiarism may occur because of the different types of sources. For example, when a researcher references a source that is incorrect or not exist, it is a misleading citation. Plagiarism also occurs when a researcher uses a secondary source of data or information, but only cites primary source of information. Whereas fabrication can occur when, filling out, the rest of experiment runs, for example. Claims about results need to be made on complete data sets where claims made based on incomplete or assumed results is a form of fabrication. Whereas falsification occurs when you represent data or information incorrectly, improperly or falsely. There are many ways to avoid plagiarism such as developing good research habits, good time management and taking responsibility for your own learning. Whereas fabrication can include the making up data or results in transparent and honest about any and all research, data, analysis and conclusions. Whereas falsification can include the manipulation of research instrumentation, materials, or processes in transparent and honest about any and all research, data, analysis and conclusions. Plagiarism involves the use of someone else's work without quoting, attribution, or citation which signify that the researcher use of someone else's words without paraphrasing. Whereas fabrication involves inventing data or results that do not exist. Whereas falsification essentially involves manipulating or changing data, research materials, processes, equipment and, of course, results. There are some ways to remove plagiarism from research content such as lead with originality, write a draft, then correct it, use quotations to save time, rephrase using your own words, use a plagiarism checker, then paraphrase it, and cite source in proper format. Whereas there are some ways to be authentic in falsified data so you must avoid it and used authentic data with proper sources and must be approved from university and supervisors then you can test your data analysis. Fabricating data is making up non-existing results, where falsifying data is to edit, add, remove or alter results and or data sets. Falsified results, when detected, lead to sanctions for the perpetrator. Sanctions include retractions of work and often the end of a career in research. Whereas there are some ways to avoid falsified data used in research such as avoid omitting or adding data points, removing outliers in a dataset and manipulating images. Examples of plagiarism includes copying another person's text, almost, 
literally without indicating that the text is a quote and or without an adequate reference. Paraphrasing another person's ideas without an adequate reference. Translating a text without an adequate reference. And copying an image, scheme, graph, figure, audio or video fragment without an adequate reference. Whereas examples of fabrication includes completing a questionnaire for a fictitious subject that was never interviewed, creating a data set for an experiment that was never actually conducted, adding fictitious data to a real data set collected during an actual experiment for the purpose of providing additional statistical validity, and insertion of a clinical note into the research record to indicate compliance with an element of the protocol. Whereas examples of falsification includes alteration of data to render a modification of the variances in the data, falsifying dates and experimental procedures in the study notebook, misrepresenting results from statistical analysis and misrepresenting the methods of an experiment such as the model used to conduct the experiment, the addition of false or misleading statements in the manuscript or published paper. Misrepresenting the materials or methods of a research study in a published paper, providing false statements about the extent of a research study, and falsifying telephone call attempts to collect data for a survey study. In short, plagiarism is a breach of academic integrity and a practice of taking someone else's work or ideas and passing them off as one's own. Plagiarism is copying from the internet from a web page, from artificial intelligence writing, or from another person without giving credit. Whereas, fabrication is making up data, so reporting on experiments that never happened or patients that never existed. Whereas, falsification is the manipulating research materials, processes or equipment, or changing or omitting data or results such that the research is not accurately represented in the research record. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.